everyone, it's Sarah at the Wyndham Public Library and this is May's Art Night Inn. For this month we are going to make bottle cap magnets and I have a bonus craft where you can make a pendant using a tile piece. Um, this is, these are my examples, they're at the circulation desk if you'd like to take a look. Right here is um, a bottle cap and inside I did a little collage on the back there's a magnet and there's this stuff called diamond glaze that I put over the inside, which is kind of like resin, but um, only one part. And then here I made a pendant using a tile, a Scrabble tile piece. And I'm just gonna get started and show you how that works. The class for this is May 2nd from 5.30 to 6.30. Our classes are always on the first Monday of every month, um, except for the month of July, which is 4th of July, so it'll be the next Monday. Um, and they're always from 5.30 to 6.30, and anyone's welcome that's over 18. You can come pick up your kits at the circulation desk, and I hope you enjoy this craft. Let's get started. So inside your kit, you'll find a couple of bottle caps like this, some Scrabble tile pieces, a paintbrush, and two pendant attachments. So the pendant attachments at the end will just be attached with glue like that and that's how you turn it into a, a tile pendant. So you have some pendant attachments and two magnets. I have already cut the things I want out but I'm going to show you how I would start. The first thing I would do is I would take some magazines from home. Unfortunately I didn't have enough magazines to give to everybody but you can uh, newspaper, magazines, old books, um, artwork that your kids have done, anything that you want to cut up and, and turn into a magnet or a pendant would be great. So you would just take your tile piece and you would trace it and then cut it out. Now you don't, when you do your tile piece, you're going to have to cut inside those lines because you actually want it to be smaller than than this right here. And so with the bottle caps, I found a little bit larger than a quarter is what works. So you can trace a quarter and then cut out a little bit larger than that area and that will work really well. So for these, I have, we'll start with our, our big craft. I have this butterfly and you could cut out words to go along with it. Um, this one that I made of a peacock has the word love in it and you can see the shininess that the diamond glaze offers. So I'm going to put some glue on the back. Any glue will do. Anything you have at home. You can even use a little bit of the diamond glaze if you have to if you don't have any glue at home and you're going to push it right into the bottle cap and try and push down on all the sides like that. Um, because the diamond glaze is like a thick glue that's going to harden into a glass-like texture. So I'm pushing it all in there. And there are two ways to do this. Your diamond glaze is going to come in a little cup like this with a cover on it. This is what it looks like and I got it on Amazon. You can also go into Michael's and get Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge. That is another one that works. It's like a just a one part resin. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either dip your brush in and like and let it drizzle, or for this one I'm going to pour, and I'm gonna be very careful because I don't wanna get any bubbles in it. And if I get some bubbles in it, we're gonna pop them with a pin. So I filled it nearly to the top, not quite, and I do see a bubble, and I'm gonna take my paintbrush and brush that bubble right out of there. And so now there's no bubbles and it should solidify like that. It does take about 24 hours for it to cure. So you're going to want to find a nice flat space up and away from places where it could get dust or hair in it or anyone could touch it and you're going to put that on a nice flat space and then 24 hours later it will be crystal clear and it will feel like glass and it will be a bottle cap magnet. The tile piece is really fun. So I ended up cutting out this tiny little bicycle. I think I'm gonna give this one to my brother. Um, and I, I make sure that there's a little bit of wood on every side. I realize this is a hard one to see because the paper is the same color as the wood. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on. Again, any glue will do. I'm going to center it inside my Scrabble tile piece and make sure that there is a small wooden border around the sides. And then this is a little bit different. I'm not sure if you've ever done that science experiment where you take water and you drop it onto a penny and see how many drops of water you can get to on a penny and it becomes like this convex bubble of water on a penny. Well, we're doing something very similar with this. So we're going to take our paintbrush and just start dabbing dots of this right up into the edge but not quite over the edge. And if it goes over the edge, it, it really isn't a big deal. You can definitely just wipe it up and start over again. But what you want to do is you want to create like a bubble and you want to go over the side of the paper but not the side of the tile. And that's why we cut our paper just slightly smaller than the tile. And I'm going right up to the edge. And if you have any bubbles, um, a needle, a pin, um, a paper clip, all of those can pop the bubbles really well. You can't add too much to the top of it. But if you give yourself quite a bit. Now, I, I'm afraid if I lift this, it's going to come off the sides, but I'm going to show you if you can see. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera, but I'm just adding a little bit to make this nice convex bubble, and it will dry very clear and glass-like and shiny. And then when I'm done, when that is all done, because this needs to lay flat for 24 hours, I will glue the pendant attachment to the back. And there you have it. It's super easy. Um, you were going to have some extra of this diamond glaze, so I wanted to let you know some other things that you can do with it. I've used um, old domino pieces, and I've cut things from magazines, and I've turned those into magnets. Um, you can make coasters because this is it's waterproof. So you can take an old tile piece and put a map on it and then cover that in the diamond glaze. Um, and just let it cure for 24 or more hours, especially if you're going to put like a, a wet glass on top of it. But that is our craft for this month, and I'm having a blast doing these. I think I'll have about 40 kits available at the circulation desk, so remember supplies is limited and you can come in and, and ask for, for one. Um, and they're just for folks that are 18 and older, and I really hope that you guys can join my class because it's a great group of people and we just talk and do art for an hour um, and you can get your kit when you come into the class. All right, well everybody enjoy your spring and I will see you in June.